by the end of this video, you will be a better footballer. We have packaged everything you need as an attacking player to ball out in the game. First, we train our fast feet and our technical ability. Then we have five, six skills to inspire creativity and unpredictability on the field. In the end, we bring that all together and give ourselves a security net for when we run into trouble with defenders, that way we can get out. Let's go. All right, though, before we get kicked off, we want you guys to do us a huge favor and hit the subscribe button and then click that bell notification button. At the beginning of these videos, when we upload, we want to take the time to answer questions and see what's up with you guys. So if you guys don't want to miss out on that, please hit the bell notification button. Also, those of you that want a step-by-step -step plan on how to get to be a pro, how to deal with nutrition, how to get faster, stronger, more skillful, and if you want unlisted videos with players that are playing La Liga, Serie A, okay, the EPL, and elsewhere around the world, click GoalRemy.com and sign up for GoalRemy Nation and join the movement, my friends. This is where we have all of this stuff and we are going to close it off at the end of this month. You will still be able to sign up. You will still be able to sign up after the 31st, but it will not be free and you will not be in our test group. So we want the players who are excited, that want to get better, that want free stuff and want to test on how we can actually help them in the games. All right, so go right down below, click that and let's really get going. Last thing we want you guys to remember is that this video is set up in three parts. The first part is only 90 seconds, 90 seconds of training that you can do right here at home as soon as this video is done. Next, with these other skills, we want you guys to pick one, pick one skill out of the five for you to practice. The reason that a lot of you guys are having issues and pulling off these moves in the game is because you watch 10,000 of these videos and do not concentrate your forces on trying to master one simple thing. All right. So pick one and practice that. The principle, look at it, understand it, and then try to apply that also to your game. But if you guys can actually take this stuff 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes a day, if that's all you've got, trust me, it will change your game, okay? So Golaremi decides, put that right down below in the comment section. We are gonna carry this out throughout the year. If you are serious about actually making yourself a better player, a better person, and balling out this year, Goal Remy decides, put it in the comment section. You know what to do, all right? V pullback. Pull the ball in and open up with the inside of your foot and then immediately switch and open up on the other side. Not only is this a useful move, nearly anywhere on the field, it almost always works. And once you get the motions down, you can bust it out anytime you want. While practicing, look to keep your head up from time to time and scan your surroundings, and from there, we'll move on to our next Golaremi pattern. The Backdoor Cruyff. This variation can be done in two ways, as you can see here. We pull the ball behind us and then tap it to the other side. Quickly switch and repeat the action on the other side. That's it. The faster you can do this, the quicker your feet will get, but it must be under control. If you don't do it right, you're going to end up like these guys, flat on your ass. You can add to this skill by taking a touch in between. It's useful to learn to do both because it just adds a layer of difficulty that challenges you and will do nothing more but make you more fluid come game time. All right, guys, quick point. Don't half-ass your drills. You want to do these drills well because they're the foundation of being a good player. That's it. That's the only point of me stopping the train right now to tell you that you have to work because it's the foundation and you'll have more fun. Crossbar. You guys ready for this? Nailed it. Well, well, well. You should have expected this one. We're reinforcing good habits here by doing our foundation pattern while not moving forwards. If you want quick feet, this is where it's at. Inside, outside, inside, outside. Don't cheat here of all the patterns. This one should be the quickest. If you want to count your reps, that's fine. But in all honesty, these three drills should be worked to time. 30 seconds to one minute, set the timer and get after it. You should remember the nutmeg we called dad's panic because it was the first nutmeg my dad ever taught me and the start of this move is exactly the same it's two steps at first stepping on the ball and pulling it back followed by a crazy feint in the direction we're going we do this so the defender thinks and feels like we're just going to take off into the space we've created which of course we're not after the feint you can be as crazy as you want to be a step over and go back the other way you can snake them or you can work with the actual samba samba panna 
right here. Notice that after we make that feint, if we wait a split second, the defender should be looking to recover his position or even step to the ball. In any case, if he's looking to step in, then the chance to expose him is there and he's got to take advantage. So go for the meg or go for a skill, but do it quick and with confidence and get out. Pele pulled off a million moves in his day, so why does Team Golaremi want you to know this one? That's easy. It's lethal, it's quick, and it's simple. Pele was goal crazy, and this move gave him freedom, and that's what you want as an attacking player. The freedom to shoot, to pass, to keep dribbling. So, to explain the move, we start with the setup, which can be fast or slow. Just don't telegraph your direction, head straight at him. Once you feel the defender getting set, you want to snap into action and hit the ball with the inside of your first foot, and immediately snap back with the other. The key here is to hit it out hard enough for you to start a short sprint. Trust that you've surprised the defender just enough to get off a shot or cross. You will know what's best yourself, and if you need to cut back, then do it, but trust yourself, my friends. This is the Golaremi way. You'll notice that if you do this from a near standstill, you'll create a different situation. So make sure that you try both when you go out to practice. And you know what? We're going to throw in a Gold Ramey explosive speed and strength training right here, right now. Because if you want to be a great attacker or just a straight up good footballer, you've got to be quick and agile. So your Gold Ramey homework today is to take this move to the field and train it like crazy. And after you do your speed and explosion workout, start using this move to ball out like crazy on your friends. Back it up, back it up, back it up is what you got to do with this move if you want it to work nearly 100% of the time. And no, I do not mean you're going to lose the defender completely, but you are guaranteed space. And at the pro level, when I have something that guarantees me a chance to get my head up, then it's a quality move. So notice how we take a few steps back with the ball, luring the defender into either stopping or moving towards us. And then look how we shake the ankle and faint and explode with purpose to where we want to go. Once again, it's perfect for a cross, even better at the top of the box when you don't have time to pull off a crazy move. It's so simple that you should be able to get this down the first time you try, so go to the field right now and get balling. Notice that the principles for these first two moves are nearly identical, but the execution of the moves is mad crazy different. As we take a V pullback, stepping again away from the defender in an attempt to lure them into pressuring us. It's completely natural for a defender to close you down when you have your back to goal. When they come to put their hand on your back or give you a slight push, you want to be ready to take action. And this is for sure a risky move, so know where you're at on the field if you want to try something like this, but don't be afraid to be creative as an attacking player. Notice that you can roll the ball with your foot when trying to go for the nutmeg, or if you need a bit more power, use your heel. If you're a striker, this could be the key to getting past a tough center back and getting you right in on goal. Pop it, lock it, and then pop it again and lock it up because Ronaldinho loves this move. OG Ronaldo loves this move. Why? Because it's baller and you can use it too. One of the most underrated skills to gain some space with watch in slow motion. All we've got to do is build up a little speed and then step on the ball with our strong foot. Once we've done that, hop up with the back leg and use the inside of our foot to send the ball forward. Notice the subtleties and how our body turns to the side. All of these actions are necessary to sell the fake. Do not do moves like a stiff tree or you will end up with a face full of grass after defender sticks you, okay? Always be fluid. Look at the example as we run with the defender. As soon as we think we're gonna lose momentum, we stop and pull the ball back towards us, turning towards him and throwing our body slightly the same way before kicking the ball forward and sprinting out to gain the advantage. There's no point in learning about any other tight space moves if you can't do this basic part of the game. No matter what position you are, you will have to do this and you better know how to do it well. So look at how we exaggerate the movements right now with no one around me, quick touches on our toes and our hand up and out to shield up the defender and keep as much distance between them and the ball. This is the key to shielding because when you're in a very tight space and you have more than one defender to deal with, things will change. Don't be shy about throwing your body around, launch your body into the defenders like a weapon and keep the ball 
fall under control. As we pause it here, look at the position that I've placed myself in. This is what you need. This is what excellent shielders like Pogba and Hazard do so well. You can even use the defender to push off and get out. No matter what level you're at, you can brush up on this. So hit up our Play Like Pogba and Padlock videos to learn more. All right, guys, that's the vid. Make sure to go right down below and sign up for Goalaremi Nation. Click on the link, goalaremi.com. You guys can sign up there. Remember, the list ends at the end of this month just because we cannot accept everyone. All right, so do that. Check out our podcast as well on the 11th Commandment and our second channel, which you can check out here or here or there or wherever. And we will see you guys later. Love you. Peace. Running through it with the young influence, adolescent presence, I'm succumbing to it. I've been giving yeses when I shouldn't do it. I complete objective, but the moves are loose, and I'm barely moving, but I'm still gonna boost them. I can't work on winning.